We are here at Crown Grill on the Caribbean Princess celebrating our anniversary. They've just made our order to have some surf and turf. And I'm going to have a ribeye and some lobster. And my wife's going to do some filet mignon and some lobster. It's going to be a wonderful dinner. I can tell by our wait service here. It's a great, great opportunity to have some good food. The Caribbean Princess's Crown Grill offers a truly special dining experience with an open theater style kitchen where chefs customarily prepare fresh seafood and cook to order steak. Yeah, I like mine a little bit blue. On the Caribbean Princess, Crown Grill is found on the Fiesta deck forward just past guest services. They sat us down at this beautiful booth with a sea view, took our drink order, and served us some delectable rolls, well, in many varieties. That was soft. The rolls, they came out hard. nice and warm. Of course, they became a play toy for me. Okay, now that you've ruined it. Perry, my roll wasn't ruined. It might have been squished a little bit, but it tasted just fine. Now, I'm going to show you a nice copy of the menu and the associated food that goes with each portion of that menu. We ordered three appetizers. The black tiger prawns, the hand-cut beef filet tartare, and certainly I wanted those sheer giant jumbo sea scallops with salmon caviar. So I'm going to go ahead and taste one of these prawns. Oh. They're perfect in the sense of being grilled at the right texture. A little bit of smoky taste, but not overwhelming. Something I might get on my gas grill at home. Very delicious. Right here. Oh wow. Just a good taste. Those scallops look appetizing. Well, they are an appetizer, so let's go try them. A good dill taste. Delicious. I'm always scared about the uh, salmon caviar. A little salty, kind of remind me of Those when I go fishing. Left. Referring to the look of the fish eggs, I never did really try eating some trout bait. Yeah. So the salmon caviar, it's a little salty, a little fishy, but not overpowering. It's really good. The saltiness offsets the dill of the sauce here. I've never had tartare before, so let me look. I'm gonna get a little bit of the egg with it. Yeah. Little bit of barbecue, little barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. You don't even need the egg with it. You can just eat the tartare like it is. It's delicious. It's got a really good barbecue sauce. So here's a tartare. My mom, she just loved tartare. She always called it hamburger, but this is not really hamburger. That's a good ground beef that is very soft and tender, has a great taste to it. Love it. Then it was time for our soup and salads. Terry got the marinated goat cheese and tomato salad and I picked up the black and blue onion soup, what was very delicious. Black and blue onion soup. The trick of this soup is that the cheese here is blue cheese and they put a little dab of Jack Daniels in it just to give it a little bit of spice. Got some pepper put on it and it should be delicious. Mm, oh look at this. This looks awesome. Wow look at that cheese. Oh I need that cheese in there too. See if I can get some. Oh look at that. Oh 
That looks so good. Oh, it's hot. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Can you taste the whiskey in it? No, I can't taste the whiskey in it. It's probably burned out. But the... I know, but sometimes it leaves a little thing too. Well, maybe if I got some broth. It has strong soup. taste, strong onion taste. It's really good soup. One of the best onion soups can I've you, had. Can you taste the Jack Daniels? I cannot. That's way different than the one they had in the dining room. Yeah, that was mozzarella, and this is pure blue cheese. And you can taste that blue cheese strongly. This is probably good old salad. Just regular old salad. Just regular old salad. Also with tomatoes, baby spinach, beets, and a delicious basil vinaigrette. Let's take a second and look at the main dishes they have here at Crown Grill. Of course, they have great seafood. We did opt to get the main lobster tail for additional $10, the surf and turf. Next on the list were chops. And I was really tempted for that New Zealand double lamb chops. And of course, that porterhouse, 22 ounces? Holy smoke, that's two dinners worth. Of course, we went for the steaks. Terry got the filet mignon, eight ounces of delightful wonderfulness. And I went for the ribeye, my favorite cut. They brought out our dinner with our sides. And of course, I got some mushrooms to put on top of my steak. Asparagus, you know, for romantic purposes, it goes well with that lobster. And we got a loaded baked potato just to stuff us a little bit more. That looks like a wonderful lobster. <laughs> oh. We even got some table side service, such as de shelling this main lobster tail. That was nice of them. I make such a mess. about your lobster? Okay, let's try one. Lobster, put, uh, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on it. A little bit of butter. Perfectly done. Oh. Anniversary lobster? Absolutely. Terry, she had her first lobster on our wedding night. First time she ever had lobster, and she fell in love with it. So, we have a tradition that we eat lobster on anniversary, and this is an excellent time to try this out. I love it. I think she's enjoying it. And certainly when you come here, it's a 10 extra dollar fee to have the lobster with your, your steak to have surf and turf, but it's worth that $10, I'm pretty sure. At least for me it is. They also allowed us to discover the Crown Grill's unique gourmet salt selection. What is that one? Smoke apple root. Ooh. Himalayan pink. And then Hawaiian black lava. Oh wow. Beautiful, thank you. You're welcome. Now they've asked us to cut into our meat to make sure it is cooked to our perfection. Is that good for you, Mom? That is good. Thank yes. you so much. A little pink in the middle. A little That's pink perfect. in the middle. Perfect. Oh, yes. It's very blue. That's good for you, sir? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, how that, like I love it that way. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You did a wonderful job. Let's hear it. <laughs> we like to put mushrooms on top of our steaks and onions, too. I don't see much onions here, but certainly the mushrooms should be wonderful on top. Let's try this black lava salt. I dip it on there, and that's probably a lot of salt for you that size of steak. Was that? You think it's a lot, but it's not. Well, you think it's a lot. Well, let's go and give it a try. You can hear the crunch. It brings a lot of good salt taste to the steak. Oh, it's delicious. When I cook my steak at home, I just black powder it with a lot of grated black pepper, put some salt on it, and fry it up. I don't like a lot of sauces and stuff on my steaks. I just like it very plain. 
this is a great meal. The ribeye is strong taste to it, good beef taste. The salts here bring or pop out that taste to it. Some good old ground pepper. Probably would even bring a little more stronger taste. It's really good. And I'm just going to enjoy this dinner right now by just turning off this video, eating it up, and maybe eating up at the end telling you how I enjoyed it. So that's been fun. Crown Grill, a good choice to do when you want a fancy dinner. And then it was dessert time, and there was a plethora of sweet stuff to munch down on. We got the salted caramel creme brulee cheesecake. It had a different look to it. No, but it's crunchy on top. Let's get a picture of that one. We also got something called the fish bowl. Well, it's kind of interesting because it does look like a fish bowl. Off of this, look how soft that looks. Mm. My goodness. And we got a specialty cake that's given out to special occasion. In this case, our special occasion was our anniversary. Now, we never did eat that cake. It was too beautiful to, well, dig into. But I want to thank each one of you for joining us on this particular adventure. We absolutely loved eating at the Crown Grill. And I can sit there and say it was one of my top five things about the Caribbean Princess. Those that have not subscribed yet, please do so, especially if you like these type of adventures. Hit that notification bell and give me two thumbs up because this is George the Phyllis Rambler absolutely enjoying this date with my wife, signing off.